Look at that lens flare, guys. Look at the lens flare. Lens flare. Oh, girly games. Squared. Meow. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Girly Games Squared. Let's play with BMO. And I am here with a webcam, and you might wonder why. Well, the game that I am playing today uh, was provided to me by uh, Triple Brick, as uh, the gaming company that made this game. Uh, it's called Vernon's Legacy. This game looks just amazing. Like, I've been following them on Twitter for a long time. Uh, they sent me a key to play the game before the release. So this is super crazy awesome. Like, I am, I was already super psyched to get this game, which comes out on March 31st, guys. Uh, and they, they, they sent me the key, and I was just, like, jumping up and down because I was so excited because this game looks beautiful. Like, as a 3D artist, I love how this game looks. I just love it. So, Vernon's Legacy, guys, by Triple Brick. Super awesome people. Check them out on Twitter at uh, Triple Brick. Pretty sure it's at Triple Brick. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I'm pretty, I'm, I'm like 99% sure. How long has it been? It was the time before the war. It was a time of innocence. Look at that rain! Before the cloud of death spread over Europe. Like it's very artistic. That's what I love about this. At the time, I could not imagine that I would never see Uncle Vernon again. Fifty-six years old. To die so suddenly? Hmm. I'm hmm. at a loss. Yes. Fifty-six. And the house. It's young. It's not the same. The walls appear darker and cracked. The garden is neglected. Quite different now from how I knew it. Yes. Everything yes. is different. Hmm. So very different. I don't like change. And I don't like the sound of that creaking door. So... Let's see what we're about to get into. So I did play about seven minutes of this game, literally just to look at it. Like, I didn't get scared by anything yet. Um, this is a drawer that opens. You can open drawers and stuff and pick up things. Here's a note. Uh, Robert, it would have been great pleasure to welcome you personally. It has been six years since your last visit to Duncanhof. The war has left its mark on the house, and nothing has been the same since. I'm afraid I cannot welcome you in person today, given the unfortunate circumstances of late. Robert, please accept my sincerest condolences for your loss. At the same time, I consider it my duty to inform you that your uncle has changed considerably in the last few months, leading up to his death. He is no longer the man you once knew. The doctor determined your uncle's time of death was at 1.30 a.m. on March 3rd, 1920. Oh, that's, that's old school. I am just getting over a cold, so uh, prolonged talking kind of still hurts. Madeline and I hereby wish to terminate our employment with your family and shall leave the house forthwith. She will likely move to Paris to be with her sister while I shall seek new pastures in Berlin. Uh, you will find the key to the private rooms on the kitchen table. It is time for us to leave. Our taxi is waiting for us at the gate. Uh, you must... <laughs> I find that kind of funny, you know, like... we. I'm writing this letter just as our taxi gets here. I'm just going to let you know that our taxi is here. i got to go. Uh, your most humble servant, Elios Strittmater. Strittmater. That is awesome. Love it. Oh. Oh, this is cool. Okay. So, that's... You can, like, scroll through... Uh, stuff and Jay gets us out of there uh, We do have inventory uh, What else did I see in there? Uh, WASD of course uh, jump is space and shift is going for a run. Oh My god look at that light. I was just walking around like literally just walking around look at it. Look at this bust She's prettier than me. That's not cool but Look at that lens flare the like raising the blacks was a very really cool idea um i love the contrast uh it almost gives everything like this eerie kind of glow to it to have that very cool uh blue and i really think that is awesome now there's so many rooms in here uh i went straight for the kitchen when i first decided to hop in and see what it was like so i'm just going to continue um and what was that did, you, did my screen just sketch out there for a little bit did anybody else see that 
Oh, like I said, nothing has scared me in this game yet. Because I didn't exactly, like, go around long enough. I only had, uh, I literally just, like, got home, checked it out, went to bed. Um, there was, there was one thing that scared me, and it was a pot that, uh, fell off. I'm gonna close that door just because it freaks the hell out of me. Uh, I went into these drawers, so there was nothing in them. I don't know if it's random. It could be random. Um. <gasps> See? See? Fuck. Okay. Okay, we're getting in the game. Uh, I want to read the notes. Let me read the notes. Okay, I'm gonna read the note. Dear Marie... I am so happy to hear that you were hired at the main post office in Paris. Hundreds must have applied for that position with Monsieur Moreau. Uh, I'm overjoyed. Write to me soon how you like your new workplace and whether you've already found a room. If you are still looking for an abode, perhaps you can check with Monsieur Bonnet. Uh, he is a friend of Master Vernon. He lives in the Rue de Sommerade. I'm sorry, because my French is absolutely terrible. Uh, and we certainly be able to help you. And of course, no, not all Canadians can speak perfect French. I hate French, to be honest with you. Not, not just Quebec French. Just Quebec French. No, <laughs> kidding. They made us learn it in school. Didn't enjoy it. Uh, I received a letter from our parents yesterday. They are already looking for helping hands for the almond crop. I would be happy to spend a few days there right now. Regrettably, I am very busy at the moment. Robert is arriving tomorrow, you know, the nephew of our employer. He also spends part of his summer holidays at the Duncanhof. Knowing him, he will probably turn the whole house upside down. Last year, he even set Master Vernon's laboratory on fire, nearly reducing the house to ashes. Oh, we a badass. Uh, his uncle seems thrilled that the boy dabbled in science, but where is the science in that? Whole laboratory was in flames! The Master Vernon let him off with even a slap on the wrist. My dear Marie, I end for today and send you lots of hugs, write me soon, and tell me what is happening in Paris. Your loving sister, Madeleine. Elias forgot to bring stamps for Mets. I even wrote him special reminder. Sometimes I think he forgets to buy things for me on purpose. Yet he never seems to forget his pipe tobacco. Hence, this letter will, will reach you with some delay. Okay, so... Oh, that that is cool. That's something I didn't notice uh, before. That they're actually, I guess, in an order that you have to find them. So that's cool. Uh, okay. So I know that note's there. There was supposed to be a key in here. Oh, I don't like this room. I love this room, though. God, look at that. Look at the detail, guys. Look at this. This is a beautiful game. I'm so excited. This is where it gets creepy. This is where I stopped because I figured it would kind of trigger something bad. Uh, my dear Robert, believe me, I would have been delighted to see you again, embrace you in my arms. You must have become a real man by now. It has been a very long time indeed, and please forgive me, I have taken away the keys. Oh, you bitch. Anyways, what was Elios thinking to give you the keys to the house after all he has witnessed? You cannot stay here. Please listen to me. You must leave at once. The house is not what it used to be. Back then it was very different. My dear Robert, please, please listen to me. For the love of God, do not linger here. Sincerely yours, Madeline Point. Okay. Okay. So, she took my keys. Uh, you can just open stuff up. I like this. I like that you can open a bunch of things. Of course, this is a game where you actually have to search for stuff, right? Um, because there is a key that we're going to have to look for. Oh, I don't like the thunder and the lightning. It's creeping me out. This is very, very cool, and I enjoy this. Um, if you guys watch my solo Let's Plays, I open the crap out of everything. You know what? Let's better not leave it to the ghost to open up all this shit. If it is a ghost. I really don't know what's going to be coming after us, or what is the main scare of this game yet. Uh, but I do know it does exist. Uh, I just, again, you know, really enjoyed taking a look at the screenshots that they posted. And I am in the dark, and one thing you guys gotta know about me is I don't do dark 
let's play as often because I am a big baby and my biggest fear as a child was the dark. This does something. I open this, but there is a fuse missing, so we have to find a fuse. Oh, it's so ominous. I don't want to go in there. I don't want to go down there. Come on. No. I like throwing stuff. Oh. Oh, well. This is a mess, isn't it? Just a big mess. Can I get in any of these? Can I move any of this stuff? <sighs> oh, for a second there, I thought there was something there that freaked me out a little bit. Just a little. Okay. So this room doesn't really have anything, I don't think. Oh. Move that. Can we open this? No, we can't. Urgh! Every time I turn around, I'm like, is it come at me? Come at me, bro. Can I look at pictures? That's a pretty picture. It's a pretty picture. I like it. Oh, these lens flares, though. Damn. Damn these lens flares. What's down this creepy fucking hallway? Okay, it's alright. We don't have to go down this hallway. That, that's okay. Okay. Second there, I was like, what the hell was that? But it's actually my roommate's TV in the other room. <laughs> Freaking me out. Oh, lens flares. Ah. Okay. Let's go up these stairs. Let's go up these gorgeous stairs. These gorgeous stairs. They're so gorgeous. Okay. Um. Okay. We don't have to go. We don't have to go in here either. Maybe that's what we need the fuse for. The fuse turns on the other lights. Okay, so we actually can't go in there. So do we have to find this fuse? But the only room we can really go into is the kitchen. So maybe the fuse is in the kitchen? So the fuse is missing. I'm just gonna spew stuff everywhere. So this is the only other room we could get into. Oh, look at this. What's this? Oh, I didn't pick that up. This item was placed in your inventory. I for inventory. Oh, we have a screwdriver. I could really use that. Maybe that can help us, um... There we go. Maybe that can help us get into other rooms. So that's what we missed in this room, I think. It'd be nice if there was a other stuff in here, but I don't think there is. Okay, so maybe we can... Can we... Can we jimmy jam? Oh! Can we jimmy jam? Oh. Item was placed into my inventory. There's a broken key in the lock. I feel like I should be able to... Oh, there we go. Yay! Oh. This is a much nicer room. Hello. You look like you're a code box. Oh. I wonder what the code is. I haven't seen any codes yet. Are you one, two... Three? <laughs> no. Okay. We're going to have to look around, I think. I'm going to close that. Just in case. Uh, no, I'm not seeing anything in there. Or in there. Can't open trunks. Oh, there's another letter. Maybe this has a code in it. Uh, dear Kari. Carl. That is Carl. Dear Carl, you did the right thing by moving to the capital to be with your family. I don't know which is worse, the war or Master Verna's behavior. There is a lot of fighting happening in our vicinity, and he is always digging into the old vaults for potsherds. Potsherds, I don't know what that is. Oh, or God knows what. 
There are far graver issues to worry about, if you ask me. Uh, I do not know if our lives are safe here. What if the front line expands and the house is overrun? I don't even know why I'm writing you. I will not be able to go into the town and mail this letter anytime soon. Best regards, Elios. Uh, P.S. My dog, Haros, has been missing for three days. This is not the first time he has wandered off, but he has never been away this long. I just hope nothing bad has fall befallen him. Uh-oh. Dog's dead. Dog is dead. I'm guessing it right now. The dog is dead. Sad. It's very sad. Oh, there's a nice little picture here. Well, that's cute. Okay, so this is the thing about this room. There's this lovely code box, but I need the code. So... Keep in mind, guys, now we need a code. Oh, another letter. Let's open these first, though. Check it, check it. No, okay. Dear Carl, I am writing to you today because I could use a handyman around the house. As you know, I work in the manor of Mr. Vernon. The house is simply too large for me to do all the work myself, and some things are best left to the experts. Uh, we have boiler in the basement, a modern device used for water heating and steam generation. I suspect it is leaking on the bottom, and I need you to take a look at it. You know Mr. Vernon is not stingy when it comes to payment. Maybe we can meet in the Mets next Friday and discuss the details. I have some shopping to do in town anyways, uh, most, mostly for our cook, Madeline. Uh, she keeps writing me these long shopping lists, and I believe she does not even need half the things on the list. Yet she makes a fuss every time I forget something to bring. Best regards, Elios. Okay. Is there another letter in here, maybe? Is there another letter? Another something or other? Ugh. Alright, I forgot I could jump. I could jump. Okay. Sweet. Sweet, sweet. No, not missing a number on the wall or ceiling or anything. That lights fly, though. Oh, what's this? Can I? Oh, no. Not what I wanted. I just wanted to see if I could pick up the handle. Oh, you freaky, freaky bullshit. Anyways. This one wasn't a, uh, a Jimmy Jam. This wasn't, s oh, I lost my screwdriver. You only get one? You only get one shimmy sham? Yeah, you only get one shimmy sham, guys. Only one shimmy sham. Okay. There was nothing in these corners. No secret doors. No Harry Potter hideouts. Okay. Hmm. Anything carved into anything? I am on the bed. I'm jumping. On the bed. I am a rebel. Look at me jump on the bed. Jumping on the bed. Jumping on the bed. Jumping, jumping, jumping on the bed. That'll piss some people off. Ghost people. Can't move this chair. I can move other chairs. So you can't move all chairs. Cannot move all chairs. Ho oh, ho ho. I see that. <laughs> okay. Just the things you noticed. Notice. Maybe I'll find more. S oh. Oh. Sir, can I? It almost gave me the illusion that there was a secret door there. But there isn't. I'm just tearing apart this freaking house. Okay. The code is to be in the kitchen. Maybe. I feel like I've already torn apart the kitchen. A lot. Damn you, Madeline. Tell me not to linger, but... You kind of left me in a shitty situation, at Madeline. Jeez, Madeline. Hmm. Carl. Damn it, Carl. Damn it, Carl. No. No. What does the key do then? Q. 
can't put it back. Can't put it back. Can't put it back. Hold on, guys. I might have to uh, quit here. And continue. So there's my key. Use my... There we go. There we go. Okay, so sorry about that, guys. There was a little bit of a, a glitch happening with that key. That It definitely worked. Uh, I guess I just had it in my hand before I came to the door. And that uh, is kind of what broke that. But you know what? We're okay. We're okay. Dear Marie, I have not left this house in probably a year. Even Elios and Master Vernon visit the city only rarely. It is simply too dangerous. Thank God we have enough supplies in this house and the vegetable patch in the garden. Uh, when I lay in bed at night, I can hear the thunders of cannons in the distance. The fighting and the death is happening right out our doorstep, and I get goosebumps when I think about it. Master Vernon is trying his best to ease the workload of Elias and me, uh, for which I am most grateful to him. I will not abandon Master Vernon, however difficult the present situation may be. Warm hugs, Madeline. Okay. Um, bunch of pictures again. Uh, that's got nothing. We're gonna close you because I don't like having doors open. Oh, isn't this cute? Look at that. Oh, is that her? She's pretty if it is. Oh! <sighs> Vernon. There are two numbers four and three. And another three? Why is the red three? I don't know. <sighs> oh, sorry. My roommates again closed the door. And I heard it, and it freaked me the fuck out. I can open these, that's cool. There's, uh. No. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. There's gotta be a clue to this code, though. They wouldn't give me the code and not have the code. Simply, simply cannot. Uh. Dear Marie, it is hard to believe that they closed the post office in Paris, but it is probably for the better. And once the dust settles, I am confident you can start working there again. I am quite sure that the situation will calm down soon. Everyone says so. Right now I am just happy to know that you are safe in Mercilly. I don't know what that is. Uh, have, have you paid a visit to our parents on the weekend? Sadly, I was not able to visit mother and father in November as planned. As you know, the border crossings are temporarily closed. I just wait a few weeks before I take a few days off since surely everything will go back to normal and the borders will reopen soon. I look forward to seeing you again. Warm hugs, Madeline. P.S. Elios failed to buy stamps again. Uh, by this time he is he is, was not at fault. Oh, sorry, but this time he was not at fault. Uh, the road to Metz is only open to military transports at this time. Besides, today is my birthday and I should try to do say something nice to him instead. Oh, she's kind of a bitch. God. What is going to come at me in this game? It's freaking... Freaking... Ghosts of War. Um, where is my next clue? I need a raging clue right now, guys. Okay. This calendar, though. This calendar speaks to me. The four and the three are circled. Or there's one, three. Huh. Was that the day he died? What is this day? It's Madeline the killer. No, I don't know. Four, three, K. Okay. Ah. Ah. There was nothing in here. There was nothing. Oh, 
Okay. I believe our clue is in this this box that we found. Where is the box? The box is in a different room. Because so we found this box. And we have four... Four... Three... Three... Where to be? Three, three, four. Damn it! I want in that box. Let's take a look at this. Let's take a look. So we've got a few choices, I guess. There's go with like. 406 to go with um, June 4th. F like 406 or. Yeah, that makes more sense. Or November would be 311. Mm. Let's. I feel like the numbers have to do something with this calendar. Um, there's three digits though. Okay, let's try that one. So we're going to try 406 and 311. Alright. Oh, wrong room. 406 and 311. Remember that, guys. Remember that for me. Um, it's 4. Oh, I went too far. Damn it. Oh, 6. Nothing. Okay. So three. Um, whoop, too far again. Damn it. And eleven. There we go. Score three eleven. Okay, so that that was uh, Elios Elios's number, and I do believe that is our fuse, even though it looks like a tampon. Um, sweet. <laughs> I don't know what actual fuses look like. I, my roommate is an electrician. He can deal with all that shit. But now, look at this! Oh, it only took me forever to find out that fucking code. Um, I'm just not that smart. That's my fault. That's not the game's fault. The game is beautiful and gorgeous. Lens flares! Oh, lens flares. Um, fuck off. Okay. Going through all the things again. Who is that? Um. Okay. This looks like it could be a master bedroom. <gasps> what was that? Did you see that like light flash up? Was that a lens flare? Ugh. Pillow fight. Pillow fight. Pillow fight. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, we yeah, had drinka. I know there's a note there. I'm just gonna take a look um, in here first. No. Okay. Let's read our note. Uh, Robert left two days ago. It is already more quiet in the house, and Madeline can't breathe freely again. Oh, Madeline can breathe freely again. Uh, that boy has kept my cook constantly on her toes. Uh, the good lady worries too much about him. If he is gone for five minutes, she immediately suspects the worst. Well, I would too, because a kid, like, set some shit on fire. We are a bad kid, but we're awesome. However, she is right on one point. I have to brick up the entrance to the tunnel in the garden. The tunnel leads to old vaults under the house, and has irresistible allure to a lad of his age. If he goes down there, God knows what might happen. Oh, okay, good to know that there is a tunnel entrance to the tunnel. That is in the garden. Good to know. Uh, the newspapers are calling for general mobilization. Uh, Germany declared war on Russia yesterday. No one would have thought it would be possible just a month ago, and I hope that the conflict will be resolved soon. Okay. So I assume that was, um... What is... Oh, it's, it's like lightning. That's kind of cool. It's freaking me out, though. 
Oh, it's is it the lamp? Or is there actual like lightning? I can't remember. I don't know. Anyways, I just came in here and threw all these pillows askew. Oh, hello. Oh. Oh, there's another one. I almost spent the entire days in the old corridor yesterday and discovered some interesting parchments. Uh, whose age I am not knowledged enough to estimate, uh, I shall have contact the Professor Bonnet at the Pathion Sorbonne University in Paris. He is considered an authority on early Christian and medieval ar ar archaeology. The Professor has expressed an interest in the vaults beneath our house and a few times can surely say more about the finds. I shall write him tomorrow and invite him to Duncan Hoof. Uh, I've left the vaults in the evening through the entrance from the garden and met Haras, Elios's dog, halfway there. The dog ventured very deep into the dark corridors. Could this be where he buries his bones he gets from Madeline in the kitchen? One more reason to break up the entrance to the garden. Uh-oh. Did somebody accidentally, um, lock the dog in, um, in there? So we need a key. need a key to get into that safe. There's nothing in here. Oh, there's a key. No, give me my key. Key and note. Dear Marie, Master Vernon is not in the best of spirits. He has changed so much in recent months, and now that the war is over, life is slowly getting back to normal everywhere. However, the war has left a permanent dark cloud over Duncanhoff Manor, which is getting thicker with each passing day. Master Vernon has not eaten with us in the kitchen for several weeks. I have only seen him rarely, usually when he is on his way to the vaults beneath the house. Master Vernon has always treated Elios and me with kindness. We endured the war together. It has created a bond between us like no other. But now he is reclusive and keeps distance. Uh, his appearance has changed beyond recognition as... He has aged very rapidly, even though he is only 56. I wish I could help him, Marie, but I don't even know what ails him in this house. The vaults in the basement that made him like this. Warm hugs, Madeline. Some creepy shit, Madeline. Madeline. So we got a key, so maybe that's to the safe, but... Oh, I remember this. I remember this because there was a screenshot of this on Twitter. I remember this this cool thing here this telescope <gasps> hammer 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 I want it I want it I want it why is it there why can't I have it shush god that lightning freaks me out cool is really cool they actually added like a lightning flash I'm um Pretty happy and impressed with that. Um. Okay, okay. Coo, coo, coo. So there was a hammer in here, but I'm not allowed to get. Oh! Oh. But I can't. I can't get the hammer? What can I get to let me in there? Maybe that's another screwdriver or something. Let's go check that safe. But that was cool. A little space in the wall there. See, uh, I can't. Me and keys. Okay, so that. I don't think that's the right key. I don't think it's the key that I am looking for. Perhaps. This! Haha, this is the key we're looking for! Oh, we're in the can! Ha ha ha. Rins the toilet. Oh, nothing's really all too clickable in here. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Yes, I apologize every time I have to cough. That is me. I am Canadian. 
there nothing I can click on in this bathroom? So it's just a bathroom. So I got a key to go into a bathroom. Oh. Oh, okay. Um, what is this? A bottle with strange fluid. Oh, okay. lovely. So we have a bottle with strange fluid, guys. Going to the other side here where all the other lights are on. Maybe we'll find something that we need. Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, what? Oh, can we close these? Oh, oh what is this? Yes! Oh, I'm getting out of here. Oh, fuck your shit. Oh, let me out. Oh, let me out of there. Oh, it's freaky as hell. What is that? What was that? It's just a box. Ugh. Get me out of here. Fuck your shit. Oh, my God. Ugh. Oh, I didn't like that. And not like that. Not one bit. Okay. So, I think we got an axe. Right? Oh. No, crowbar. Okay, that's gonna help us get into that wall. Um. Dear Carl, you mentioned in your last letter that the Ziegler family would be happy to hire my services. I would like to think on, thank, think on hit this offer. It is not easy for me to leave the employment of Master Vernon, given that I have worked at this house for over 20 years. Nevertheless, it is time to go. Master Vernon is obsessed with his investigations at this point of delusion. He either stays in the vault, sorry, whew, or locked himself in the library all day. Four days ago, he'd been relieved, really, he even relieved me of my duties in the cellar. Not that I am anxious to have any further business down there. I would have to see him to believe it. Carl, it seems to have aged several years in just the last few days. All this gray hair, those sunken cheeks, almost overnight. If he keeps this up, I would give him many, too many years. I would not give him too many years. Haha. <laughs> Carl, can you please arrange this job interview with the Sieglers for me? Best regards, Leos. Okay, so... Elios was all up in the um, creepy dark hallway. Oh, fucking creepy dark hallway. Okay. So here's another room. Oh. What's this? Does that give us anything? Can't do anything with it. Okay. Strange. I've never seen a rat in the old vaults before, but today I discovered a whole rat cemetery. Dozens of them are scattered all over the area of a few square meters. It is not all clear how the animals died and why they are only found in parts of the vaults. The rats appeared intact out <laughs> outwardly. Could there be lethal gases down here? Perhaps carbon dioxide? I have to be more careful for the explora explorations. So that that's coming from Vernon. This totes coming from Mr. Vernon. Doesn't seem to be any name, doesn't seem to be written anybody. Um. Oh, I really don't like thunder. I'm totally cool with lightning. I love lightning. Thunder freaks me out, though. Um. November 21st. The exploration of Western Vault has progressed slowly in recent weeks. It is cold and damp down here. Today I have finally some success in a report. Uh, I managed to break through one of the walls and discovered a cavity behind it. It appears to be another tunnel system of enormous proportions. Uh, this is a mystery to me for what purpose it was built. Unfortunately, I have not yet succeeded in deciphering the parchments, though I suspect that they will tell me something about the underground structures. 
Today, I ventured further into the newly discovered vault. It is partially flooded with water, often difficult to gauge how deep the water is. Most of the puddles are only a few centimeters deep, though some of them seem to be bottomless. I have to watch my step very carefully. I shall have to pump out this water next summer. Pillows! Pillows. He sleeps in a lot of different bedrooms. It's like, dude, if you got a house, at least have one bedroom. I don't know. Okay. Okay. I think that's everything in this room. I feel like I should be able to take this. Okay. No. No, apparently not. Down the stairs. Uh, the stairs? Do we have a, uh... Does he get tired? I don't know. I don't know if he gets tired. Yeah! Oh, there's a key! Okay. So let's see if this key opens the vault. It's a vault. Yay! We're doing things. Oh. Oh. Oh, I don't want to go back in this creepy room. But I will. Ugh. Oh. Look, I missed a note. Today I received Professor Bonnet's rejection to my invitation. It was hardly unexpected as German and France had, Germany and France have been at war for 18 days now. Would have guessed that the events at Char Sarajevo would escalate like this. A shame, really. I am certain he would have had more to say about the parchment scrolls. Oh, there's parchment scrolls. Uh, Europe is engulfed in conflict. Uh, Blitzkrieg. Not sure what that. If I, I, excuse my pronunciation of anything that's not English, because yeah, I'm really bad. Uh, what the newspapers call it? They say they say it should be over by Christmas. Somehow I find that hard to believe. Uh, I also worried about Madeline. She was born in Marseille and but has lived in Germany since her childhood. Uh, she was planning to visit her family in France in the fall, which is now completely out of the question due to the curtain cir circumstances. After finishing her work in the kitchen, she locked herself in the room and does not appear again until breakfast the next morning. She's clearly very upset, and I cannot even let her go shopping to the Mets anymore. If police stop her for, qu for questioning, she will be arrested on the spot for having a French passport. Oh, well that, that really sucks. Go away. Whoa! <laughs> Did you guys just check that out? Can I do it again? <laughs> so if you're standing on the pillow, um, fun, fun will ensue. That is, that is fun. There's nothing in here though. Ah, ah. <laughs> there we go. Oh, my cat's tearing up my carpet. Lovely. I don't know. Okay, something's got to do something with that map. How do I... How do I work this map? Do I... Here, guys. Do I... Oh, it totally was a special liquid. What am I doing with the poor map? Oh, what? Is it a pirate treasure? Oh, dudes... Dudes, it's a pirate treasure. East, south, west, north. See, I knew it had to do something with... Uh, I, I didn't expect the map to be the answer to the safe, but I knew that each one kind of had to go into a different direction, and I kept trying to make that happen, but it wasn't working. Um, but damn. So that strange, weird liquid gave us east, south, west, north. East, south, north, west. Why didn't that work before? East, south, north, west. East, south, northwest. East, south, northwest. Eat. Soggy. 
narwhal wieners eat soggy narwhal wieners oh wait no eat eat oh there we go haha -ha. okay nice 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 okay all right guys thank you so much for checking in for this awesome let's play I have another key uh, hopefully it goes into one of these two doors because that's about all I got left in this room this is super awesome oh my god you guys can play this game on March 31st uh, coming out Virgin's Le Vernus legacy <laughs> Vernon's legacy um, of course and oh god damn those lens flares those lens flares Look at that, guys. Oh, this game is so cool. I love this game, and I love everything about it, like, right now. Of course, these puzzles, hot damn, these puzzles are quite clever. They are quite clever. They are, they're amazing. They've fooled me. Uh, this has been about an hour and a half of me just running around this house trying to figure out what the hell is going on. But once you find out, it's like, oh, well, you know, why am I not smart enough to figure that out? <laughs> Because that was pretty... Uh, I would say it's like medium level puzzles. But for in my head, it's like super hard puzzles. Because I'm really bad at this stuff. And I'm also really bad at, at, at just glancing over things. Like that screwdriver. Like if I hadn't gone back into that room, I wouldn't have found that screwdriver. But continuously trying to look into every single little detail. Like that... This is just so good. And that's why I really, really like this game. Because they take every single little detail. Like that that hole in the wall oh my gosh that freaky room all this contrast the fogginess the lights this is quite a beautiful game guys um, check it out on early access on Steam on March 31st I can't say it enough uh, thank you once again triple brick you guys are absolutely amazing I can't believe you guys sent me this early oh this is lovely and I haven't even been really like scared by anything yet like it's just a an overwhelming like eeriness and like uh, the whole, like, just the, how everything fits together, the color scheme, the gleam, the, those little, like, flickers every now and again, the, the bowl falling on the floor, the thunder, the lightning, the atmosphere of this game is just really incredibly well done. So, shout out Triple Brick, you guys are amazing, you guys can check them out on Twitter, at Triple Brick, uh, also, make sure to check them out on Steam on the 31st, uh, you can add them to your wish list right now, uh, and I had done that months ago before they had contacted me. This is absolutely amazing. Uh, I love this game. I can't like it enough. Uh, so like, share, subscribe, guys. Uh, check us out um, at the girly army, at girly underscore army on Twitter. Uh, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bemo out. And his name is Dwayne Johnson. The Rock eats over 5,000 calories a day. That's 10 pounds of food. Damn.